We've talked much about Dean Martin's past tonight. One element which hasn't been touched upon is the fact that in his formative years, he was a member of the Boy Scouts. We are proud to have with us tonight the leader who helped form our man of the hour, his scoutmaster from Steubenville, Ohio, Mr. Foster Brooks. As this boring ball buffoon just told you, I was... I was Dean Scott, Scott Master in, o, in Ohio, in, in Stupidville. And I'm here at the MGM Grand Hotel tonight to... 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 I'm here to salute... salute... this, this bomb's past. My bosom... <laughs> my bo <laughs> my bo bosom swells with pride. Something Ru Ruth Buzzy might even envy. <laughs> you may lake lake it look. Look, you may look. <laughs> you may you may look at me and say, push the tish pass, pass tish. Easy for you to say. <laughs> I remember when, when this piffle pixie was a was a Cub Scout. Oh, oh. <laughs> the happy hours we spent of a summer evening sitting around the campfire in our little short pants, roasting our weenies. <laughs> And, of course, warming our buns. <laughs> Dean's, Dean, Dean's dream was to be a great singer. <laughs> Mine was to be a great brain surgeon. Sorry, your dream wasn't fulfilled. <laughs> this Latin lot could have been a gifted sur surgeon. He was the first scout to perform an emergency vasectomy. <laughs> on a great, on a great horny owl. <laughs> To this day, that owl is looking for you, Dean. <laughs> you just walk through any, any Steubenville woods and you'll hear that bird singing pitifully. <laughs> in conclude, in conclude. In <laughs> As I leave you, <laughs> you may ask why all these nice people on this dais have given of their time and traveled many miles to, to honor Dean, Dean Martin. As I said before, it's a dirty job that somebody's got to do it. <laughs>